I was brought up totally on classical music. I mean, we lived, we only heard classical music in the house. To an extreme. I didn't think I was sheltered, but it was unbelievably sheltered. There was a moment when I was about, I can't really remember, I think 10 or 11, and I went to school, just normal school, and everybody was in this crazy bar, like, have you heard? You know, I was like, what? John Lennon has been shot. And I was like, who's John Lennon? So I then come to London and suddenly, you know, I go into pubs and there's Irish folk music or there's this, I started playing in this African band, you know, like I'm, I'm just totally blown away by the amount of different music out there and I fall in love with it. And I start to play it. We did this group which was called Triology professionally for 13 years, signed to BMG, toured the world. Toby Bob McFerrin did a couple of Hollywood films working with Hans Zimmer. We did the music, well, we arranged and recorded Hans Zimmer's music for Spanglish and Road to El Dorado. Of course, my instinct was I'll go back to London, but I just started getting job offers in New York. Even though I'd had this amazing career in Europe, I was totally unknown here. And a friend told me about Gigmasters, um, and it honestly saved my life and really, really developed me in really important ways that wouldn't have made me, that, that have allowed me to do what I now do. I'd started communicating with the audience just by talking between pieces, which in the classical setting was very new. Gigmasters people would call me up and they'd be like, listen, I want you to stroll around the tables. And I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna do it, you know. So suddenly I'm going up to people and I'm really connecting with them, which in a way that I'd never quite done, you know. You know, you tell them what your fee is and they say, fine. You don't say my fees, a thousand dollars, no, well, can you do it for 500, you know? So when that first happened to me in America, it was very shocking and I didn't know what to do or how to, I didn't know how to make a deal. Um, so Gigmasters has really helped with that. Uh, for me anyway, I learned how to tune into, what can I really do for this person? What do they really need and want? And what kind of budget do they have? You know, what is, what can they really afford and, and where do I feel comfortable? And just working out that win-win situation. I raised $20,000 on Kickstarter to make my album. I decided to contact some people who decided to book me and say, look, would you pay the money up front for the gig now on Kickstarter? You know? And one of my Gigmasters people did do that. Not only did he do that, he paid me $500 extra towards my album. So I chose these amazing band musicians who have never played classical music before. And then we made arrangements together, sometimes the pianist, sometimes the bass player, you know, sometimes all of us just finding our way with something. Yeah. We were going to release it at some point. But anyway, check out Daisy Joplin Band, a new album coming soon at some point. <laughs> at some point. <laughs>